All right, gang. It's a uh, day two morning. Last day to hunt. He can only hunt the weekend on his tag. Um, had a pretty eventful yesterday. Got soaked though on the way out yesterday. It rained quite a bit, so it's gonna be pretty wet on the way in today. But um, I'm gonna walk up the road a bit and uh, kind of, I guess, check out the same. A little bit different area, but same nearby area, but a little bit different part of it and let's see what we see he passed up a lot of nice ones yesterday i did but <laughs> so that's all his fault if you don't shoot one <laughs> his tag not mine <laughs> but anyway let's go see hopefully it uh, turns out good hopefully it doesn't rain today if we gotta if it hopefully. takes if it takes the afternoon but i don't think it will i don't know so he's got to think got to think positive <laughs> <laughs> swapping around so maybe we'll go down there check them out early um, pretty good although I think think he didn't rotate yeah yeah I did I said okay <laughs> morning scoop pretty much took off so not sure what spooked them we we're still about um, about a hundred yards away and um, some ewes picked their heads up and kind of started blowing and phew, they took off pretty far I don't know if it was maybe some wild dogs running around and we do see some other groups just running around that we can't figure out why but uh, anyway we've worked our way up into the little oasis over here <laughs> it's a nice little nice little spot I like up here um, tucked away Let's find these little pockets so we're gonna go check it out maybe it'll turn up some uh, some luck like old times Shafts. <laughs> Both right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, gang. Um, got this ram, wounded ram, bedded. About 25, uh, about 50 yards away right now. So, we're gonna go sneak up and go 
with the finishing shot. Hopefully it turns out. I thought he hit it low, I was like, I was feeling bad, I was like, oh. Well, there he is, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, awesome ram. From Pua walked. Um, Keaton, Keaton got lucky. He drew the uh, he drew the tag. There are only 25 tags every weekend, and I believe there's going to be four total weekends uh, for this hunt. Um, I grew up in this place. I, I youth hunted all in here, and um, it's kind of cool to to see some of the at least some of the hunting come back. You know, uh, a bunch of it's been fenced away, and and some of it eradicated. But for the most part, there's still it's still a decent area to hunt here. Um, a lot of wild dogs have wiped out some of the sheep, but uh, you know there was some predator trapping and some of those things. And you know, it looked like they're slowly becoming more viable and more of a, of a quality hunt. Um, I think right now, still, other than like some of the military areas, this is one of the best public areas for guys to get a, you know, to find a, find a sheep like this. You know, <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty pretty awesome um, wish we had like some cool footage of stalking it or something but we really <laughs> didn't like it but it just ran up to you right yeah. <laughs> crazy they didn't expect it <laughs> yeah so you probably shot it at like a couple a couple shaft lengths away yeah. only. Um, oh, that's crazy. in the panic you didn't make didn't make a great shot yeah, but didn't. you know we did our due diligence give it some time follow up on the shot we made a good follow-up shot and, you know, he died, um, I don't know, probably about 450 yards yeah. after that shot, so it's a good one. Uh, I think you passed on some better ones, though. No, yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> no, I did, too, but, <laughs> but this uh, this one just ran up, so I was like, oh, man. It'll, it'll go. I think, um, you know, we're a bit of a time crunch. I think you know, this last afternoon, it poured. It kind of rained on us. We got soaked a bit on the way out, so looking at the clouds today, it might it may even begin to rain a bit earlier so yeah yeah <laughs> kona summer's in kona it it rains in the in the evening so and that awesome i guess the work begins now yep <laughs> the fun begins Get the <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Na, no, ok. All right, we made it back to the truck. We are tagged and bagged and happy. <laughs> Good work, Keaton. Good shooting. Thank you. Uh, I'm stoked. <laughs> stoked. It is. Pretty awesome hunt. Pretty cool hunt. We had an awesome hunt yesterday with, uh, uh, well, Riley was with us, but uh, we met up with uh, Grant and his dad and helped him um, recover recover his ram and uh, yeah, finished off the weekend with one of this tagged and doesn't get better than that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't get wet. I thought yeah. it was gonna get wet this evening. I thought it would it rain. rain. Yeah. It drizzled a couple of times in there, and I was telling um, I was telling Keaton like, ah, maybe we should shoot one earlier. Like, don't pass on too many. <laughs> and he did. He shot it, but uh, yeah, it didn't rain. It threatened to rain, but uh, it didn't rain. So, just blessed to be able to do this. It's awesome. What a memorable weekend. <laughs> the ride home, now. Hey, aloha, guys. Thank you for watching the video and help support the channel. Hopefully, it was just as much fun to watch as it was for me to film it, edit it, and spend time with my friends out in the field and. You know, field tag or not, in the end, that's kind of what it's all about, right? Having fun, spending time in the outdoors, and you know, just enjoying this hunting lifestyle that, that we all love. Um, but I wanted to leave with one message before I let you guys go. Um, and if you don't want to listen to my fat, just my fat talking head here, you guys can stop the video and uh, go on your merry way. But I wanted to leave with one message um, at the end of this video. And, and that's, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of my childhood uh, youth hunting inside of this area, Puawa, and over the years there's been a lot of changes, um, a lot of environmentalism type of stuff that have fenced off and you know eradicated some areas. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but what I am saying is that there are more plans in the future um, to do some of these things, and I I got to be real, I don't know if it's ever going to end. So I wanted to leave with a message to the hunters out there that you know while this was a cool hunt. I'm actually surprised it still exists today. I would have thought a lot of this area would have been gone and given away to environmentalism by now. But the truth is that that agenda exists and it does displace uh, your public hunting. It does, it may displace this kind of place. So into the future, um, I hope hunters can band together. I hope they can educate themselves and be aware of the things that kind of stand to take away what they have. Um, I know it's really cool to just focus on every weekend going hunting or uh, find your big ram or whatever else kind of peer pressure or more ego based things that, that, that the hunting community has but you know I really want to say 
if people can maybe look at the bigger picture, see that you know some of these things um, they're on a they're on a sad path uh, if nothing changes. And um, I don't know how to change those things. I I had done those stuff in the past uh, politically and stuff, and it's 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 very difficult, very complicated. Uh, but a lot of it, I think, is just a lot of our own community kind of wants to avoid those political topics, avoid those um, things that cause friction or division, um, but we got to be aware of them and uh, I would just say get educated on the matter and back to the hunt, you know, if the, the correct people see this, uh, maybe folks in the DLNR or whatever, um, I would just like to say the hunt was incredibly enjoyable. Um, I know it was done under some, uh, some complex or I don't know how to say it, uh, some semantics with how the hunt is done under a damage control type of thing or whatever it is, but hopefully into the future there can be some kind of sustainable system uh, quite similar to this. A limited tag option um, if population needs to be controlled perhaps, you know, looking at the U to RAM ratio kind of thing and uh, managing the population that way. But in the end, I just want to say that that regulated tag hunt, you know, limiting also the amount of hunters at one time really makes for a very enjoyable experience that is quite different from the past of how the Department of Hawaii used to run hunting and I would like to express that that was very positive. I think everyone that was lucky enough to draw the tag and participate in it um, would agree because you know their alternatives are some pretty crowded uh, other public hunting areas and I think we can fix that into the future. I think that can that can change and be more positive. And, you know, it might even, I would say if it can be planned and structured ahead of time or something like that, it might even be something that even the outer island hunters out there can plan to apply for, uh, maybe even out of state. Uh, of course, I would always kind of get a little selfish and say, you know, maybe definitely focus on the residents. I think the people that are here um, should get, you know, some kind of priority because uh, they've been here and you know, this is this is where they live. This is why they some of them even live here, including myself. Right, that's why I don't live on Oahu, where it's super crowded in the city. I live on the Big Island, where I was raised, because of the country, because of the hunting, and because of the people too. Um, and well, it doesn't hurt that housing prices aren't a million dollars here, but it's gonna get there one day. So, anyway, don't mind all the background noises. I live in a noisy area. The neighbors are doing some crazy stuff. I don't know. People should be working, but. Here we are, right? So anyway, thanks again. That's the message, definitely. You know, hunters stick together. Educate yourself on the things that are going on and hopefully Puawa doesn't see any more bigger fences or any more kind of widespread agendas for eradication. Those things still exist though. Don't want to sugarcoat any of it, but uh, just wanted to put that awareness out there and hopefully use this channel or whatever influence I may have uh, here on YouTube to try to educate and give people awareness and hopefully it'll have some positive outcomes in the future. So thanks again guys for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, it's a cool video. Hope we can do it again. And if I do, hope we got you guys there. Aloha. Catch you in the next one.